Hello, Cornerstone Church family. We know that the coronavirus, the COVID-19, has become a worldwide concern and is on the top of everybody's minds today. Our leadership team at Cornerstone Church is monitoring the situation closely, and we are inviting health professionals into our circle of influence uh, to help us with an action plan for our many gatherings throughout the week. There are many opinions on the virus. Some think that part of this is the end time prophecies found in the book of Revelation. Others are minimizing the reach of this virus, comparing it to known things like the flu and measles. Then there's others that believe it to be a larger conspiracy hyped by the media and politics, specifically citing other uh, national pandemics like SARS and avian swine, MERS, Ebola and Zika viruses that all happened around election times. It really doesn't matter what your opinion of the virus is. The reality is that people are dying and getting sick and there are currently no known cure for it. So we must be responsible as a church, as an organization to be proactive as we can address the issue while not playing into the hysteria of it. So in saying all that, we still plan on having all of our regularly scheduled services, but we wanted to keep you informed on steps that we're taking regarding what you can do to help and what we're doing to help. The action, t uh, the action steps that, that, you can, that we're doing around here to keep you safe are the following. We are uh, committed to keeping this a safe and sterile environment. We're regularly disinfecting all the toys and all the kids in large motor areas. We have our facilities cleaned many times throughout the week. We're wiping down all of our countertops with disinfectant uh, wipes regularly. Uh, we have ample supply here. Please do not take them. If you go to the store, you won't find them. The, the shelves are empty, but we are uh, amply supplied here. In addition to all of our antibacterial uh, hand soap in the bathrooms, we also have provided hand sanitizers at all of our counter stations all throughout the church. We plan to continue all these services, but following while we're still following the recommendations of local, state, and national government very closely. You also can follow these guidelines at www.cdc.gov as well as www.ct.gov slash coronavirus. The best practices that, uh, that can help keep you safe is to avoid close contact with people who are sick or uh, with, and, and just avoid limited, uh, avoid physical contact if you can. If you yourself are not feeling well, please make a, an educated decision as to whether or not uh, to attend a service. We would love to have you here naturally, but please know that we, um, we live stream all of our Sunday services. Uh, we uh, have all of our services posted on our website and you can catch us online, uh, but we do welcome you here if, should you be feeling well. Uh, wash your hands often, use hand sanitizers as often as you can. You know, many are not talking about this, but the coronavirus is transmitted through saliva. And scientists say that if you will just take a sip of water every 10 to 15 minutes, that it will wash the saliva uh, down to your stomach bile's where the coronavirus will die. But I leave you with this. The best thing that you can do is hydration, hygiene, and consideration. I also wanted to just mention this. We believe in the healing hand of Jesus Christ. After all, I've preached the last three weeks on the favor of God. So I wanna challenge us as people of faith to put some feet to our faith and to trust in his word. Scripture says this, Luke chapter 12, verse 25, who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? Since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Psalm 91 says, no evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. John's gospel in chapter 14 says, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. In 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse seven, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. I hope this is an encouragement to you. I want you to know that we are doing everything we can on our end and trusting that you're doing everything that you can on your end. We want to just continue loving Jesus and loving people. God bless you. Have a great week.